What's going on guys? Vlog number four here. Getting ready to go to New York. Currently in Timmins. We're going to New York with a pro rider this weekend, RJ. Just loading up the trailer. I'm gonna try to fit three sleds in here and a quad. Put the camera down, we need help. Okay. Nice day here, a little cold, practicing some corners. Pro rider for the weekend. Riding out of the slash racing rig. All loaded up. Fit three sleds like no problem. What do you think, Christoph? I think we're ready to roll in a few hours. Gonna leave around nine tonight. Should be in, uh, where are we going? New York. New York. How long till there? Eight and a half, nine hours. Eight and a half, nine hours. Should be there before Toronto rush hour. That's our plan. Don't wanna get stuck in rush hour. So we just left RJ's. Head to New York now, it's 9 o'clock, should be there 5 a.m. So we'll drive through the night again, I'm going to put in the first shift. Big Dog is going to do the second one. He's probably just going to sleep I'm fucking along for the ride, let's go. Right. New York, here we come, baby. Let's what? see if we can not get pulled over this time, we'll see you guys in New York. Nice horn. What's up, guy? Where are we? New York. Dude, your pee stinks. Oh, seven in the morning, you just yeah. rolled in. I slept the Hey, you gotta introduce way. yourself. RJ Roy, what's up, guys? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Yeah, let's, let's pull that one. Anyways, yeah, we're here. Looks like there's a lot of snow. There's a blur blowing snow right now, so looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Well, there's um, no snow anywhere but the track. Yeah, there's no snow obviously but the but the track. But they're blowing it over there. Maybe uh maybe we can put it up in the box again. Chuck, yeah. Maybe, maybe both of us? He's got it. Oh uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, let's get parked and we're going racing tomorrow. Yo, yo, yo! What up, baby? Man! Crawl over. Get on up here. Okay. Waiting game to get parked. Fucking Nicholas. Nick Lorenz, add him up. Single ready mango. Homo. We're gonna tell Juddy that I got a haircut. See what he says. And he got a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, oh. Juddy? <laughs> what up, Jay? He's always bitching about how his trailer lights don't work. Maybe J.O. can fix that. Got him on dolly duty. What happened where? Where? Happened here, no. Hey, golly, go! Oh, He's factory. Thanks, buddy. This is what Canadian factory Polaris team looks like. Oh, got the Jenny hooked up. It was empty of fuel. Must have leaked out, right? Well, filled it back up. Yeah, look, we got fuel everywhere. Fucking man. What cousin Billy Ray Cyrus shit is this? What's the point of having one big light bar and then a little, two little ones? And check the hood gap. Look short. at the gap. Poop. Yeah. Group poop. Yeah. Did you fucking look in on me? Quick track change here. Clean Ar up the oil. RJ spilled the chain case oil. I spilled the chain case oil. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thursdays they rounded out here. We all had the buffet, signed up, get our player's card, get a free buffet. Free so. buffet! These guys got her figured out. Well, we're all done our heats today, it's Friday. Christopher, how'd you do? Good in the first one. Gimpy had a shoulder issue in the second one, but. Yeah, I got fifth in the second one, it wasn't very really good, but. Anyways, remember what we talked about uh, before in Iowa when LaBelle landed on me? 
Well, my wrist we got it took we got it looked at in Canada. They told me it wasn't broken, and then that was three weeks ago. I haven't been doing anything since. Haven't been doing much. I haven't been able to ride. Forgot I got it again. checked out again uh, today for, uh, with the FXR Mobile Medical, and we're cracked. So we're gonna finish off the season with a broken wrist. And how'd your day go? Well, no practice for me today. Um, no go practice. Out, go out there first lap practice, do a start, and I'm like, going read. Things bogging. Getting here. Chris and my dad take the reeds out. They woke up. Hey, dude, you should turn the gas on. Fuck. Pro on rider now. forgot to turn the gas on. Just finished the final. Tenth pick. Had to start way on the inside. Pure ice. Instant spin. Didn't even throw a roost. It was so much ice. Crossed the finish line in ninth off the start. I think he was up to like fourth or fifth after being a dink in the first corner to some people. It wasn't bad. Wrist was sore. Shoulder's pretty sore, but make it work. Uh, we got seventh. Seventh on the night and push for a better tomorrow. I don't like being roosted, so. His new nickname for the weekend's crippled. <laughs> Amy. Amy from the medical trailer told me she's gonna bubble wrap me for the rest of the year. <laughs> Cause I gotta wear this, this thing when I'm not racing. Bionic man. Brand new, brand new. Peep the haircut too. Juddy told me to get a haircut, so I get a haircut. Says he looks like a real Donald Trump supporter now. <laughs> Anyways, bring on tomorrow. We got Cody Cam coming for the vlog. <laughs> I heard you broke your wrist. Yeah, man. A little bit? No, it's just, that's just duct tape. No, it's that's just, just, that's, just duct <laughs> that's not, no, we, I like coming to New York. Track's really, I don't really like the track this year. It's pretty small, but pretty cool. The big casino is up over there. All the fans up on top of the hill. Where's all the fans? It's pretty empty right now. Hey, Bob, aren't you supposed to be working? <laughs> Tell me what you're gonna do right now. Do the FXR challenge. What kind of FXR challenge? Let's see how many jackets we can put on. How many think you're gonna put on? I don't know how many there are. <laughs> Tuned up, like. Oh yeah. 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 yeah road it's legal, man. Well, I wasn't driving. Well, it would have been better if you were. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I come to these races, you know, to have fun. You know, results are a plus, but the main thing is to have fun. He said to me before, I mainly come, I mainly come to see my friend. How'd you do today? What was that? Fourth. Fourth. You guys miss the USA? A little bit. We'll tag you guys in our vlog too. <laughs> okay. You guys got a baby coming? Yeah. Congratulations. Yep. Seeing as well. <laughs> and no babies as far no, as I no know. Babies. <laughs> <laughs> as far as he knows. <laughs> really? Somebody's looking for a DQ tomorrow. <laughs> you tell me where the UTV is? <laughs> yeah, where, where is, is it? Where is the UTV? <laughs> what are we what are we gonna rip apart today? Yeah, make them pull pipes. Make them pull pipes. Motor, you hope? Yeah. Oh, that one's sealed, isn't it? So we shouldn't do motor. We should do like track shaft. Weigh the pipe. Oh. Weigh the pipe. <laughs> track shaft. I know. What'd you get today? Second. Second place tonight. It was a good night. Just happy to be back on the box after uh, Dubuque. So now uh, something to build off of. Ready to get on top. Top of the box tomorrow though. Sweet man. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thanks. He wants me to 
gonna ask the pros what's so hard, just triple. What do I know? I'm just spark plug changer. <laughs> hey Bobby, wanna be in our vlog? Yeah. <laughs> Only for you, buddy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Does, does Lincoln get style points for no visor? He gets no points. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Lincoln? He gets a trophy though, I think he got third. It's such a jam, man. Watch out for these two Watch pylons. Pulling <laughs> the sleds up for the night. Hey, Arge! What's up? <laughs> Back of the trailer again. Ripping tape off, shoulder. I had some shoulder problems today, so got that taped and uh, oh. no other <laughs> other way, buddy. <laughs> They're gonna break my pizza cutter. Da -da, da -da, oh. Anybody remember Shakopee vlog? Johnny Taco. Saturday, breakfast of champions. Gotta change the ski loop. Broke a ski loop last night. It kind of felt like every time I was coming into holes and coming out, I was driving straight into them because the skis, the ski tips are so flat. Turns out they're broken. Put money in the grave. Hey, Arj. What's up? Struggling. So Austin's got this thing on his hood that Christopher made. And he calls it the, the powder plow. I call it the powder puffs. Have you seen Joe? No, oh, he's fucking in jail. Suspension, maybe tighten it up a little. It's just sacked out. Makes it sacked out after practice. My body's sore as hell today. My back's real bad. I had a bad hit yesterday. He asked, well, do you want to change shocks? I said, we'll just go win the first heat, and then we don't gotta change it. Let's go. Uh, just got done heat one, got a win, but he has to say. So what do you think of that race? Pretty Feel. good. I think I came out of the first turn in third, and then uh, people were pretty sketchy in the whoops. I seen in the corner of my eye racer, Frankie endoed. And uh, Woody was in front of me, I just had a better line than him and passed him as well, so I ended up with the win and he won and this is going to make the day a whole lot better. Let's go. Made some adjustments on the sled. He yeah. asked me uh, He asked me if I noticed anything and of course I don't notice anything, so the sled feels great, Christopher, good job. It all worked, I guess we don't have to change shocks now. I told him, see, go get a win, we don't got to change the shocks, just leave them. RJ's got stuff everywhere in here. Cheez-Its, like you gotta have four boxes of Cheez-Its apparently. Bag, two helmets, there's one over there, one in the bag. Gear, boots, look, he brought whole Tim's whole health with him. <laughs> if, Arch, if we're going again, we gotta go back to kindergarten for some organization skills, man. Round two. Hammer two. down! Let's see what we got. Mr. Mandrake. Mandrake. Hey, Link. Hey man, yeah. what's going on? Did you get style points for your dual visor last night? Oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> that was sick. That was terrible. Good job. Hopefully I can stay on the sled tonight. That's sweet man. Just ran that second heat. Uh, didn't pull a whole shot, but we had a good start from the outside again. Uh, come out of the first set of corners in first. And then just walked away through the rhythm from everyone. But then we get back to the trailer. Well, first off, someone stole our dolly. So we got to find that. I had to ride the sled back. Eric Downs and Logan Frowell will come with Eric's dad to the trailer that said, where's Kenny? And Kenny peeks his head out the door. I'm still sitting on the sled. He was in the trailer, peeks his head out the door, comes over, talks to me. And he basically, what'd you say? I, like, I told, I told uh, Logan to come to tell your mechanic to come talk to Christopher. Because he, Logan was talking to Kenny for the last heat race saying, you're getting good starts. We need help. We want to know what you have. So Kenny said, come talk to my mechanic with your, bring your mechanic. So they come over and they basically asked me help us and you know, like didn't really say anything at first, but then we want just, I said like, what's in it for us? Cause you know, I don't want, 
we got something that works here. We're the only Polaris getting getting good starts right now. And point blank, there is no one, like, if we've been getting good starts since Fargo, and it's nobody but Chris. So we don't want to give away everything because then, like, right now we have an edge on everyone. So if we give that away, well, there goes our edge. And we're not, look at our trailer, Like, man. We're, we're on our own. We got no help here. The help we got is, like, us two yeah. helping each other out. You want to talk about racing on a budget? We're on a budget here. Yeah, Christopher, I can't afford to pay Christopher. I can barely afford to get my own butt here. So that's the thing. So that's where we're at right now. We're kind of, we're not sure on what, uh, on what to go on because we're gonna, we gotta do some thinking because we got an edge on somebody and I want to win. And I haven't won yet, so I'm, and if there's nothing in it for us, then it's gonna stay behind these doors. And the thing is too is, like yeah, okay, come ride out of our rig for the rest of the year. But that you know what that doesn't. Nobody took a chance on me. You know what I mean? Nobody. Like I don't. Like I said in the previous vlogs, I work during the week. I um, and I don't ride. I'm a weekend warrior. So nobody took a chance on me. What if I could actually practice throughout the week? I'm competitive enough. I'm competitive enough on the weekends. I'm found just our a weekend dolly. Oh, I think so. Come and look for. Oh, sure. we found our dolly. I like he was saying about like imagine he could ride during the week. It's the same deal with me. Like, imagine if I could test shit during the week. Like, we didn't do no testing at home. The testing I get is track time. We, we make adjustments to, from there. We got nowhere to ride. And that's the problem with where where we're at, you know? But, and, like, it's not just me that's on the setup. RJ's got it, and he's in pro, and he's pulling good starts, too. So, yes, I told them to come talk to Christopher, and we haven't gave him anything. Haven't gave him a setup because he's he's asking for it. But I, when, when I told him to come over here, but the same hand is now people are talking so my motivation app says he misses me so i'm gonna get back to that oh man the kid goes one one like deadly dead wish i was there throw it back to the one year anniversary of uh being part of the crew and uh damn killing it kid killing it we miss you, J.O. So, I'm cooking burgers, and uh, every time I cook, it's literally not good. I, I'm not good at it. You know, I, if I was good at it, I'd like it, but I literally just can't do it. And uh, since J.O. ain't here, he's, he's usually our cook. Me and Christopher, we're eating dog food all weekend, because these burgers are burnt. Big shot. Sounds so much more snappier with a can. We need a can. How's that moto? Dude, I suck in it. I had two guys like literally within probably a third of a second and then we had a yellow flag and I just kind of lost <laughs> nah, it. You'll get them in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> second out of the first corner, had the outside, pulled good start, good second. Him and Lavelle walked away from the rest of the pack. See if he comes and picks me up this time. See if he remembers. Uh, here he comes. He remembered this time. Fuck yeah! Don't forget me this time, eh? <laughs> Got you. Hey guys, it's Josie. Uh, I'm just gonna hang out with the riders all weekend long, interview people like Kenny. Second place tonight, super fun. Uh, hang out trackside, watch all the races, and Gonna see all the fun and tense racing. You don't actually live in uh, in Minnesota anymore, do you? No, I grew up in Minnesota, so Logan Christian's my brother, but now I live in California, so this is super cold. <laughs> California dream, baby. <laughs> we got about three minutes to make it out of the final. And here's Nikki Lorenz the win. There you go. <laughs> boy. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Go. RJ's on the line right now. Here we go. He's on the outside to see if he can pull a good start. 
Ah, oh, he was sleeping. Way late. Come on, Arch. So RJ is sleeping in the light. Then he sends the triple. Paces the hell out of it, crashes. It does a couple laps, like good and everything. Tries the triple again. It crashes again. Hey, Arch, you going to do it one more time? Third time's the charm. And the crashes, crash, I mean, crashes of the day. Arch! Fuck. You all right, man? I'm good. I'm just mad at myself, man. That was fucking stupid. No, dude, that was gnarly. You endoed so I hard. I know, because it was stupid. Because I did it twice in a row. That was dumb, man. Like, just utterly stupid on my part, honestly. Like, I'm literally so mad at myself for doing that. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, hey, man. We're from Canada. We're, still walking, We're making though. pro finals. We're still walking. Still Happy. Walking. We beat Copeland and LCQ. It makes it you day. feel any better. He got on the podium, so. He did? Yeah. yeah. Good for so. him. Good for him. So it's the first time, I think, all year that we're actually heading home without a snowstorm. So our first drive all year. And in the daylight. And in the daylight. So it's nice. But anyways, night crew is done. Me and Christopher both have maybe under two hours of sleep home in like six hours just made her home got the trailer all unhooked truck what do you figure cripple take a few days off that's gonna end out this vlog remember to like share comment and subscribe see you later